a lovely good morning dear listeners and welcome to Don Bosco Youth Network Zamja thank you so much for joining us on today's program Don Bosco Youth Vibes <laughs> so on today's episode we are talking about the youth day and why we continue to commemorate this lovely day as youths in Zambia additionally we we'll also like to touch on a little bit of information with regards to this year's theme and maybe how it is going to impact us as youths now we have seen that from time immemorial a theme is given each and every year but my question is is whatever that is written or said on the theme implemented or is there any difference that has been made with regards to the themes that have been themed each and every year and so i'll get right into today's discussion starting with you elizabeth debrief us concerning the history of youth day um okay youth day started uh, when uh, Zambia started struggling when it was fighting for its independence. So the youth were involved in some rioting which started on the Copper Belt, I believe, that was in Chimwemwe. And these youths were stoning the, the police. And after they distracted this um, struggle for, for the politicians who were fighting for, for independence, uh, politicians they had to promise the youth to say if they get independence and youth day will be commemorated which was uh, the 12th of March mm -hmm. and after we got the independence youth day was commemorated on the 12th of March which is uh, 1966 this year's youth theme is transforming minds for accelerated youth development and so when you hear this theme what comes to your mind um, so transforming minds I think it basically has to deal with um, developing a youth's mind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are so stipulated to a certain type of lifestyle, such that when it comes to us to express our abilities, it becomes very difficult because we haven't been exposed to different uh, ways of living, different, uh, let's say, activities and the like. So the transformation of a youth mind is basically building the youth mind to be more adaptable to life changes and different activities. Basically to broaden and to you know exercise their minds. Right. Who is a youth Kyra? I think um, about the definition of uh, of a youth. I think we have got several you know books. Others say you know a youth is um, a young person maybe from the age of fifteen up until 25. Other books also say uh, a youth is a young person from the age of 15 to 35. And I think that should also be another standard of, uh, you know, United Nations organization. So I think for for now, maybe let's just go with a common uh, statement where, you know, everyone is, yeah, you know, you're very much comfortable when you talk about a youth from the age range 15 to, to 35. When we talk about mind transformation, if we look at the history of Zambia, have we noticed any transformation of mindset? Or is there a point or a stage where we can say, I think Zambian youths have civilized or changed their way of thought from this year when such a theme was released and now that there's this one, there's going to be some sort of development. So when we talk about transformation of mindset, what do you think is going to push people to transform themselves with regards to the theme that has been released this year? Elizabeth? Well, I would say our current situation because um, youth nowadays, they are more of uh, living a different life, which is a social media life, type of life. While it's the, the, their normal life is not as the way we see it on social media. So when it comes to mindset changing, transforming our mindset, I don't think uh, most of us, I think you, you people you can uh, bear with me to say youth, they are very much different when it comes to transforming their minds. And the government out there is uh, expecting us youths to, to have more impact on yeah. ourselves in transforming this, um, let's say maybe education, education wise, Work-wise, or maybe becoming entrepreneurs of our own because we are growing and yet things are still going down. So, like you said, Chiresa, even me, according to my observation, I'm not seeing anything changing among us as youths. Though youth day is being themed, but less of us are able to, to be productive in everything that we do. 
because we are not doing anything about it. It's just you there, it comes, most of us are just going out to drink, dance because it's our day. But we don't understand what youth day really means. We don't understand what our things mean when we are given that theme. Are we working on it? No, we are not. So I believe we need to to work hard as youths. Right. Quite right, we may be given these things. But then it's also the people that, you know, give us these things. Okay, we might have organizations that, you know, present talks on that day and the like, but then they also forget about implementing this thing further. Mm -hmm. So as youths, maybe, okay, personally, I think there is a development and a transformation in mind because majority of the youth these days have their own businesses. They try as hard to make money for themselves. One way or another, we may not recognize it because we expect them to do maybe bigger things, but then it starts with the small things they're doing as at now. So, yes, others do throw away their lives, but others are making you know, it productive. I think one of uh, another component that needs to drive us as young people is when we're talking about change of mindset, transforming mindset, mm -hmm. we're also talking about the aspect of reasoning and decision making. You see, because the decision that you make today has got an impact on the future. Mm -hmm. The way you reason today has got an impact on the future. But here we are, we are called the future leaders of today and of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or in other languages, they say, in particular, yeah. yeah. So, what the two talked about is basically, you know, important, and this is what we are experiencing now. As a nation, you know, talk way back, talk way back. You know, we're just talking about you know young people that saw that okay, their leaders, African leaders, were attacked by the British government, but they decided, you know, to protest against that. You see, so that was you know reasoning, and they also made a decision to say it's better we lose our lives for the sake of what independence. And I think this is also what should be our motive today as young people. These themes, I love the theme for it this year, but again, it's also up to the government. What policies are they trying to implement in order to achieve this particular theme that we are celebrating today? Because there is a lot that we need to do. We have got a lot of young people, but at the end of the day, we cannot just lose this potential in the young people. What we need now is to upscale our standards as young people as well as the government also needs to take part and to take keen responsibility in making sure that Zambia prospers with the youths involved on the table. So then what do you think youths should do for them to develop their minds for accelerated development? Change their minds rather for accelerated development. What are some of the things that they should engage themselves in to develop their day-to-day -day life, to develop their mindset or to shift their mindsets? What are some of the things they should be thinking about? One of the steps, one of the steps you can take is, you know, expose yourself to different materials that will broaden your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Let's not let's move away from this mentality of just, you know, being on social media for useless things. Quite right, they are entertaining and the like, but then Look at the real life situations. I don't think any youth reads a newspaper at this point. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel exposure really works. If we expose our minds to different, you know, just different things. Let's move away from this lifestyle one way. Let's and work up and check on the phone. Hey. What's trending? <laughs> What's trending? But yes, um, I feel one of the ways is, you know, exposure to different lifestyles and just getting yourself involved in different things we are wrapping it up and we're closing today's show your advice to young people out there understand yourself first the situation that you're in is not permanent be there to transform your mind your thinking and the people that surround you if they are unworthy to be surrounded to please change your game so that you are able to be a better person out there. Kyra. Mm -hmm. You have the potential. You have got the skill. You have got the energy. You have got the courage. You have got the motivation to be there. 
and I believe you can do it. Never be discouraged. Let us just up our game. And definitely, one of these days, it's success that we shall tag. I thought you finished. <laughs> Um, mine is very brief. Mm -hmm. My advice to youth, my fellow youths out there is um, do not be stuck in the present. Do not be stuck in the bubble. Come out of that bubble. Find yourself. Discover new activities. Broaden your mindset. Just be a different person. Do not flow with the wind. Be your own person and eventually you will discover your ability and you succeed. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> there you have it, my dear viewers and listeners out there. My advice to young people is that do you, be you, and please leave room for change. Do not be stagnant. Don't only focus on what you know. Listen to other people. Be a good listener. Read, learn, and develop yourself. So it is on that note that we conclude this week's episode. We are wishing you a wonderful youth day. Please enjoy responsibly. Set some resolutions. Look at that theme each and every morning when you wake up and ask yourself if really you are doing what you're supposed to do. On the show today, I hosted Kyra, Elizabeth, Alice, and I've been your host, Chivesa Cecilia Mungulwe. On behalf of the entire Don Bosco Youth Production crew, it's a goodbye and stay blessed. Till next time.